Right now we divert the water from uh, uh, the main river, that is what we have done, we call it the reservoir. And then after that we have some gear that normally uh, reduce the amount of the water that we are using. And then from there, from the reservoir to the canal, from the canal now to the uh, main intake, from there to the pipe, we have a big pipe that is more than uh, 1.5 meters, and then to the turbine. The work of the water it is mainly rotating the turbine and now after the turbine being rotated, it rotates the alternator. Now the alternator it generates power. The full amount of the water, 100%, to go back to the river. Right now we are generating 700, 750 kilowatts. That we are supplying to the our customer that is a, a factory that is tea factory other business customer the school and the local customer and we are charging them. Carey. <laughs> Previously, when we had power interruption, the quality of the leaf would be compromised and uh, the quality of the tea would also be compromised, which would affect the price. But now we have a stable uh, production and the uh, stable quality, and this assures us at the market for our orthodox tea.
typically speaking, uh, hydro, hydroelectric power systems uh, tend to vary, of course, in scale. So the larger systems that we're used to, like the seven Fox dams in Kenya, tend to have some negative effects on the environment uh, comparatively because it involves retaining a huge volume of water behind the retaining wall, which is the dam wall. So, of course, it means that some areas uh, that were previously uh, not submerged will be submerged underwater. And, of course, that also changes the microclimate and ecosystem dynamics. But for these smaller hydro systems, the effect is, is limited because, number one, the water that is, is retained is normally retained behind a weir, which is a, sh which is a short, short wall, uh, not very high, and which also allows water to flow over it with ease. And the diversion is also not uh, a large diversion. It tends to be a uh, diversion for a short, uh, short length into the hydro system and out back into the river. So the volume of water in the river is not affected uh, by much in any case, if at all. And also, it tends to also, the benefits also tend to outweigh any, any negative uh, uh, effects, if any, because what we see is that the areas served by these small hydro systems are typically not on the, on the national grid, uh, tend to be isolated areas and are served. So the socioeconomic benefits by access to energy uh, cheaply tend to actually bring up our communities. So it's a good model to implement.